Hi. Uh, yeah. Nice to be here. Uh, thanks, uh, first of all, to uh, Christian for laying the groundwork a little bit for my presentation. Um, so I'm going to talk about uh, YouTube and how you can use YouTube basically to uh, promote your app, to promote your game in a little bit, a little different way uh, from what we've heard so far. So uh, let me just uh, jump right in. So first of all, why is YouTube uh, relevant to your uh, marketing efforts? Um, Christian has already talked about it a bit. Uh, YouTube right now, or if you, if you look at ad spending in, uh, on digital right now, it's, it's growing very massively. And in uh, 2018, I think 50% of uh, mobile ad spending or um, yeah, spending on uh, digital video will be on mobile. So that's a huge increase and a huge potential for promoting apps and, and games as we do for AppLift. Also, if you, took, uh, if you look at uh, what people consume, uh, or, like what kind of properties they look at when they uh, watch digital video, YouTube by far is the number one platform as we already have heard today. Um, yeah, and uh, basically uh, people who consume uh, video um, on mobile or, or on digital, they almost every time go to YouTube. So basically YouTube already now is the most dominating uh, platform for uh, video consumption, for mobile video consumption, in a sense, one of the most relevant platforms for uh, app promotion. Uh, what else makes YouTube very relevant? Uh, if you look at it, uh, it has globally already above 1 billion unique users per month. In 2013, uh, you had a, about 40% of uh, views coming from mobile. Uh, I think this year it's um, approximately going to be around 50 to 60% and it's expected to, to grow even further than that. So mobile is becoming very, very relevant for uh, consuming videos on YouTube. 80% of the traffic actually comes from outside of the US. So YouTube is not even a US-only phenomenon. It's actually a, a global phenomenon. And as we already heard, YouTube is the number one medium basically to reach uh, the 18 to 34-year-olds, uh, which is basically the key demographic for uh, these games, we promote at AppLift, but also for all several uh, kinds of apps. Um, and also, uh, all those 18 to 34 year olds who consume video on YouTube, they consume it um, on mobile devices. So if they use basically all the devices they have, 98% of those people, they consume it on mobile. And also, uh, I think this year in June, uh, YouTube actually surpassed Facebook as the number one social uh, you know, social site because it had more unique uh, monthly visitors than Facebook actually. It was in, in June this year. It was one, uh, 168 million compared to 166 million uh, only in the US. So basically, um, YouTube is uh, the second largest search engine worldwide and is also uh, one of the uh, biggest social, uh, yeah, social platforms. So it's very, very re relevant for mobile app uh, promotion and games promotion. And how can you use that, uh, how can you utilize that to promote your app or to pr promote your game? Uh, what, we'll read, what we did at AppLift is a little bit different. You know, uh, you know all the pre-rolls, you know all the must-hits on, uh, on YouTube? What we did, we uh, went a little step further and what we did, um, we contacted YouTube influencers directly. Uh, we contacted people who create videos, who upload them, who have a massive subscriber base who talk about different kinds of content. It might be you know, beauty channels, it might be let's, uh, let's play videos, uh, any type of content that is suitable for, um, in our case, games promotion, but also apps promotion. And we've seen this slide already. Uh, Christian already uh, had it on. Um, basically, it shows what kind of content um, people engage with the most um, divided by, by gender. So if you look at uh, females between 18 to 34, yeah, music is the number one content. Um, then it then comes uh, comedy, film, beauty, fashion, and gaming is you know somewhere in between, somewhere in the middle uh, with thirty-one uh, percent. And if you look at the male side, um, yeah, gaming is the second second most relevant um, content type uh, with, uh, where uh, this key demographic engages with. And um, what we have seen from our from our experience so far, that is, with females, comedy and fashion and beauty, and also gaming. Uh, those uh, the types of content um, where those uh, yeah those key demographics engage with the most, and on the male side, gaming obviously is uh, you know the number one content that people engage with the most, um, and then comes again comedy, 
and so on. And uh, engagement can be it can be a comment on the YouTube page and can be uh, a message to a friend, maybe uh, a like or maybe a post on Facebook or anything like that. Uh, but in any way, it's something that creates a viral effect and it's something that creates some sort of buzz around this video and is uh, then helping you again to uh, to promote your uh, your app or your game. Um, what I'm show you, going to show you next is basically an example of uh, one of our um, no, uh, one of the uh, influencers we uh, work together with and we plan, uh, plan campaigns with. It's a bit of a mixture between uh, gaming and comedy. It's a very unique uh, style and we used it in the past and continue using it because it has worked so well for us. Um, so if you just uh, click on the little play button there. So basically what they do is they compare uh, games with uh, real life events. So basically if you have uh, a shooting game or whatever, they uh, compare that game to real life shooting or real life bow and arrow, so whatever. So it might be a very good idea to, uh, to promote your game um, with this kind of content, with this kind of channel to contact those influencers and create very specific content uh, for promoting uh, your game in this case because it might fit the audience that this channel has very well, um, and you might get very engaged users, users who are very interested in the topic, um, and will be, in the end, good users for your game. So uh, let me continue with a bit of a um, layout of uh, how to actually plan such a, a YouTube influencer campaign. And it sounds very trivial, but it's actually not, because the first thing you need to assure what you need to uh, ensure is basically to find a YouTube uh, channel or a YouTube influencer that fits your app or your game very well. And this is not as trivial as it sounds because if you don't have this game audience fit, um, then your ad or the, the content you create or the, uh, the influencer it creates will be very intrusive and the audience will just simply not uh, you know, engage with it or you know, in any way uh, like it or, uh, or watch it. So the very first thing you need to do is to ensure that you have this uh, game audience fit. And also you need to ensure, which is, again, not very trivial, um, is to have a commitment from this influencer to actually produce something that is meaningful, this is, uh, which is high quality. And um, I've put in brackets uh, the word payment because it's not, again, it's, very, it's a very important uh, aspect here. Uh, when we um, talk about promoting apps or games, we talk about CPI as a commercial model. Um, in this case, actually, what we have found um, that uh, flat fee upfront payments are much more likely to lead to an, uh, to an outcome that is uh, most beneficial for you and has the most impact. And it will also ensure the most commitment um, from these kinds of influences because what you have to understand is that those people um, work on these videos for uh, quite an amount of time uh, and they need to be sure that they you know, get paid. Which is, it's just as simple as that. Um, and when they don't have any experience in promoting apps or games on their channels, they will simply not do it. So to, to get this commitment from those uh, influencers, uh, you just, uh, and this is the way we work uh, at AppLift, we, uh, we basically work on flat fee, um, flat fee upfront payments, which is, you know, guarantees the, the sort of commitment we need to, to be able to, uh, to have a very high quality video. The second thing is, um, you need to kind of understand the influencer's audience because you just need to know, okay, what kind of, what kind of audience is that? What kind of um, game or app am I actually promoting there? And what, what's the best fit again? Um, and also to kind of reserve a right to still influence the content. So you don't just say, okay, here's my game, here's my app, just do whatever you want, but you need to kind of still reserve a right to influence um, you know, the video content uh, and, and the quality of whatever you want to do. Um, and also define a very appropriate uh, media strategy. Just a bit of an example here, uh, what you could do if you promote a game on, on, YouTube, uh, on a YouTube channel through specifically designed content is you could uh, 
go to a very large uh, YouTube influencer with a lot of followers, with a um, you know monthly viewer base of you know about uh, half a million or a million, and you can create one specific video, which will then uh, yield uh, a bunch of downloads. Um, or what you could do is go to a little bit uh, smaller YouTube influencer and create a series of downloads or a series of videos which will then uh, create also downloads or, or generate downloads, but also have a much more uh, engaged, uh, engaged audience. So you have basically to think about, okay, is it, is it about quantity here for me or is it about quality? Do I want to really have a burst effect with my campaign? So I'd rather go to someone who's very, you know, who's very big, who can uh, generate a lot of views in a very short amount of time? Uh, or is my strategy to really um, have a branding effect, to uh, have a very engaged audience? So maybe in that case, it's better to look for someone who is a small YouTube influencer who creates you know, very uh, high quality Let's Play videos and then engages with his audience uh, and then basically tells them, for example, uh, join, join my alliance, I'm gonna post videos uh, every week and you can join me, you can play with me, you can play against me and this way you can have a much more different uh, sort of uh, outcome from such a YouTube influencer campaign. And then uh, also very, very important and then, again not very trivial, or it sounds trivial, but it's not, is actually to integrate um, the game properly in the, ga uh, in the uh, video content and also to uh, be able to or to be sure that the tracking links actually work and the tracking links are put at the right spot. So what we do is um, we put the tracking links in the description box of those YouTube videos. So it's basically, again, trackable. Um, obviously, you will have those people who uh, will click from desktop devices, so you need to make sure that you have some sort of landing page that tells the user um, this, is, this link only works from a mobile device. But these are, are, are all the small things you need to be aware of uh, when thinking or when creating such a uh, YouTube influencer campaign. Um, and also to make sure to brief uh, the YouTube influencer that you know, these type of links only work for mobile devices, so it always helps that uh, this fact is being emphasized. The, these are two cases we um, at AppLift have um, done in the past. So the first one um, was with a casual game. We did uh, basically one video on a, uh, on a YouTube channel. Uh, as I said, as I mentioned, we work on uh, flat fee upfront payments. So in this case, we generated almost 9,500 installs from this one video uh, with a quite, uh, yeah, quite good eCPI. And in the second case, we did it a bit differently. So what we did is uh, we created a, as I mentioned before, uh, a series of uh, small, like a yeah, series of videos on a uh, YouTube influencer um, channel that is uh, a bit smaller. Um, but then also had you know generated uh, quite a good uh, ECPI on that, um, and those um, you know game publishers that we worked on in this case, um, they came back because their uh, basically their data showed uh, the LTV showed that this uh, worked quite well for them. So we had in the first case an ECPI of two like slightly above two dollars, in the second case uh, two sixty three. So uh, quite a good result. Um, and what we also typically see is you can always uh, kind of assume a view to install rate of about two to three percent. Um, so we basically, yeah, this is our uh, expertise in this case, um, and it, yeah, in, this, in these cases work, worked out quite well, and the game publishers continue to work with us in this. Um, basically, if you, if you look at a YouTube campaign, um, you need to be aware that it's not like advertising on mobile, you can just start a campaign basically the next week or the next day even. You just have to really, um, you know, plan it ahead. It, if you really want to do it well, it can take up to four to five weeks. So basically what we do is we work together very closely with the game publishers. Um, we define a, or we together with them, speak about the target group they have for their game um, and basically have a campaign briefing with the game publisher and on the other side with the YouTube influencer. So we really speak about the type of content we want to create, about the media strategy as I was talking about. Do you really want to go to a very large YouTube influencer or do you want to go to a rather small influencer, create a series of videos? Or do you even want to go to uh, several kind of, uh, kinds of YouTube influencers in the same country or different countries? So we really need to make like a campaign briefing uh, and then uh, have a pre-selection of YouTube influencers that uh, are willing to promote this kind of game or this uh, kind of uh, app and then have the game publisher or the, the app publisher in the end decide uh, which kind of channel they want to go with. And this, this takes uh, quite some time because, I mean, it's, 
basically people's business. You, you, you deal with uh, artists. Yeah? YouTube influencers see themselves as artists and not as business people um, uh, at the very first. So uh, they see themselves as artists and you really need to speak uh, thoroughly with them, to speak about the content, to speak about the quality and uh, what you actually want them to do. And in the end, uh, basically you have a creative concept which is then basically done by uh, the YouTube influencer. They do the video, they create the, the animation. Uh, if it's a let's play video, they play the game um, and they you know, uh, put something online, maybe even a series of videos. What usually has worked quite well for us in the past is when uh, before the actual video, they um, announce uh, this kind of video either in the last video before um, our video or they even have um, well, most of them have a social media channel like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, so they announce uh, the next video on those channels, which kind of helps uh, to gener generate a bit of buzz uh, for the video um, we want to, uh, yeah, we really want to push. And then basically what happens is once the video is online, uh, the most uh, views come, come in within the first, say, five or seven days, maybe ten days, and then again it helps uh, to kind of support this uh, video by, again, pushing on social media, by reminding the subscriber base uh, to, again, watch the video. And if you have a series of videos, you can always engage with the viewers uh, and say, okay, uh, next week I'm going to post another video. Uh, if you want, you can play with me in my alliance and I'm going to be a level, I don't know, 10, whatever, um, and we can play against each other, we can play together, uh, and this is kind of kind of helps to, to engage uh, your audience or the audience of the YouTube influencer. So basically what, what we as Applet can do, um, we have access, as I mentioned, to all sorts of different um, YouTube influencers all around the world. Um, it's not as easy to, uh, to contact them all because they have, uh, yeah, this, they are basically artists, uh, so it's not really business-like at some point, but um, still uh, we can you know, manage basically to run campaigns uh, in all the relevant markets uh, that there are for apps, but also for games, uh, ranging from small size influences to very large ones, um, whatever you want, depending on the media strategy you define for yourself. Um, and then basically to generate those uh, earned organic uh, views, which is kind of important here because um, working together with YouTube influencers or promoting apps or games um, on, those, on those channels is not really perceived as advertisement, it's perceived as entertainment. Because the people who uh, subscribe to those channels, they actively seek those videos. Uh, they want to be entertained by someone who plays a game or by someone who uh, talks um, on, on, uh, on a beauty channel about the next, uh, the newest casual game, for example, or uh, on, on a comedy channel, you know, uh, talking about the, number, you know, the top 10 things to do when you're bored. So, I mean, this is something we did and it worked out quite well um, just, just for promoting a casual game. Um, and basically what I already mentioned, we, worked, um, we work on fixed budget, budget uh, upfront deals, which helps a lot uh, to you know, get the attention of those influencers, uh, to get their commitment and to ultimately um, you know, generate something that is beneficial for, uh, for your app or for your game. Basically, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be around. Uh, please come to me and speak to me. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And yeah, then enjoy the rest of the afternoon.